I got to soar amongst the clouds. I got to soar amongst the clouds. I got to soar above the clouds. Nothing is going to stop my purpose. Having wondered whether you gave it all you got, because it's going to transfer into the man you become when you leave here, and most importantly, it's going to be your identity. When you get tired, when you get fatigued, when you get down, when you're in a slump, it's your habits, rituals, routines, and your standards that carry you through. So whether you have talent, whether you don't, the only thing that matters is will you persevere? Will you stick with it long enough to get great? Nothing is going to stop my purpose. Cause I got the attitude like an eagle. So keep on flying high. Don't let the rejection stop you. Don't let people tell you that you're not good enough. If you got an idea, then stand on it. If you got something in you and you want to share it with the world, put it out there. Maybe everybody is not going to listen. Maybe everybody doesn't want to hear what you got to say. Maybe everybody doesn't want you in their camp. You got to be that eagle. You got to get up. You got to fly. You got to soar. Sometimes you may want to come down, but you got to fly back up again. All right, so here's the, here's the challenge that I have. So there, there, there are two groups of people walking the earth. All right, you got, you got one group right now. Now, both groups have these dreams and these goals. Both groups from the time that they were young saw things on television, read things in books. They physically saw people doing things. It was like, yo, I want to do it. Like, I want that. I, I remember being a kid, you know, and I used to watch the Brady Bunch. And I used to be like, yo, I want a family like that. I, re I, re I remember watching it. See, my mom had me. She got pregnant at 17 with me. I didn't really start talking to my biological father, like literally having a conversation with my biological father until I was 30. So as a child, because I didn't have that, you know, traditional home, I remember looking at the Brady Bunch going, I, I want, I, I remember, oh, leave it to Beaver. Oh, leave it to Beaver. Like, I just like that, you know, as, as Cleavers, like they just had it going on. You know what I'm saying? They never like really argue. You know what I'm saying? Like they worked everything out. Everybody like had roles. It was, it was just, they were great. Sometimes you got the crew. But you got to be powerful, even when you're cruising. Ego attitude is such a beautiful thing. It's truly magnificent. Just look at that ego. Do you have that mindset? Do you trust in your abilities? Do you know that you have something special within yourself? Or do you trust in the things that people said you couldn't do? Did you let the world show you that you didn't have what it takes to be what you wanted to be? You never see an ego complain. You never see an ego whining and worrying about how it's going to get its meal. Ego knows what it must do. Right? And so I, I remember growing up, like, yo, one day, like, this is my, this is my reality. But one day, one day I'm going to have a family just like, leave it to be. Like, I remember saying it to myself. And I, I remember friends, like, they want to drive these kind of cars and leave it in these type of neighborhoods. I wasn't really thinking about that kind of stuff. I was just like, you know what? Like, one day I just want to have a happy family. Like, I want to come home and I want my kids to, like, run up to me. Dad, when they get older, I want them to be proud of me. Right? I just had these dreams. I'm going to put my kids through college. They're not going to have to pay for college. I'm going to put them through college. Like, they're going to go to, you know, these big colleges and whatever. And I just had, I had dreams. Right? I had dreams. And so what I want you to do for me is I want you to, and I know a lot of you are adults, and you, you got, you're you adults, and, and sometimes you don't have time for dreams and goals and stuff. Right? But I want you to do me a favor. Like, don't let life do you like that. As Thomas Edison said, our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is to always try one more time. I know there are going to be a million times in your life where you want to give up, where you absolutely ache with the desire to quit, where nothing sits inside of your gut other than the certainty that you are going to fail, that you are not good enough to push forward. 
But that is to fundamentally misunderstand the nature of a failure. The nature of a failure is not to tell you who you are. The nature of a failure is to tell you a way that didn't work. It's to inform, it's to educate you, it's to test you, it's to be a gut check, to find out if you believe in yourself enough to push forward even when the world seems to be telling you not to. If you don't have good habits, you don't have good rituals, you don't have good routines, always in your life you will fall down in bad times, in slumps and fatigue and in stress. I don't believe in faking it till you make it. You and entrepreneurism, right, is the greatest self-discovery process in the history of mankind. If you learn more about yourself, what you don't know, your resiliency, how tough you are, what your weaknesses are by being an entrepreneur, it's probably the greatest self-discovery program in the history of the world. It's also this. It's the greatest self-improvement program with the highest compensation package possibly attached to it, too. That's what entrepreneurism is, a self-improvement program with massive compensation package attached to it. And that's why too many of you are too focused on growing your company and not focused enough on growing you, because your company will never, ever exceed your identity or your vision. And as Brian Tracy said, attempt the impossible in order to improve your work. Think about that for a second. Attempt the impossible just to get better, to try the things that you know are going to fail, things that the world is gonna tell you simply cannot be. But even if it violates the laws of physics, if there's something in that... attempt that you're going to learn you owe it to yourself you have a fucking moral obligation to try because all of the people that will lie in your wake are the people that didn't try simply because they didn't believe that they could do it you have to be willing to look at the world you have to be willing to see things that you yourself think are impossible and try because in that you will stretch yourself. You have to be willing to look inward at the state of your current skill set and say, I'm going to play outside of that. I'm not going to play where it's safe. For it. You gotta grow you, because what will happen when it starts to grow, you'll start making unconscious mistakes to shrink it, making bad calls, getting weak, getting lazy, making mistakes. You're all nodding because you've all done it, because at some point your business got ahead of you. It will never exceed your identity in your vision. Because if the company catches your vision, the company catches your identity, you're dying. One of the things that human beings underestimate dramatically is their capacity to get great at something if they're totally immersed in it, totally laser focused on something. But as I've coached the very high end athletes in my life, the top business people and entertainers, I can tell you that most people underestimate what total obsessive laser focused really is and what it looks like because you are way more powerful than you know you are if you went crazy, psycho, obsessed, laser focused on anything, even something you're totally ill prepared for. Humans have an unreal capacity to get great at things, even if they don't have a natural talent for it, if they're immersed in it, and to learn something and acquire a ton of knowledge in a short period of time as well. I'm going to play where it hurts. I'm going to play where I feel clumsy. I'm going to play only in the areas that make me feel stupid because in that, I know that the way that the brain responds is through adaptation, but I have to stretch.
myself. You can't ever lose sight of that. The only way that the human animal adapts is through stress. You have to be willing to break things in order to build something new. So if you want to push the boundaries, if you want to see just how far you can go, if you want to succeed at the highest level, if you want to play on a global scale, you have got to be willing to try the impossible because right now, the things that you need to do are impossible for you. But they won't remain that way forever. And as Aristotle said, pleasure in the job puts perfection in the work. This doesn't have to be a tale of always being terrified. Everybody, myself included, screaming at you, telling you that you need to go do something great. The part they're leaving out is why the fuck should you care?